hi and welcome to my video thanks for tuning in as always um today i'm back with a fall video or autumn video i want to go shopping for a big pumpkin but um i've already bought a jumper of etsy it's yet to arrive and it was kind of expensive <laughs> so i don't want to spend too much more money i don't want to participate in the consumerism this year so much because last year i got sucked in watching all the fall girlies do fall hauls and come shop with me and i just kind of i mean i didn't buy too much last year either but it just feels like a lot when you don't have a big budget um and uh Yeah, I heard this quote from someone on YouTube, I don't remember who, um, that you just don't need to go out and buy more stuff just because it is autumn. And that is so true. You don't need to buy stuff every autumn. No, I didn't used to go out and buy fall decor every autumn. Like, I never did that until last year. So, I guess I've been pretty good. <laughs> but, um... Uh, I feel like I still bought stuff we didn't need. <laughs> Beautiful decor. It's just decor. It just stands on a corner. But it, it just makes you feel good and appreciates the season. And last year I wanted a big pumpkin. But I couldn't find any. So today or this year I want to try and find one. And also last year I saw an acorn branch. Like a faux, faux one. And I didn't buy it. So if it's back again this year in that shop, then I would like to purchase that. But I won't be going into that shop today because it's kind of the opposite direction. Um, and then I would, what would be really cute would be kind of a felt or fabric cute mouse. That would be really cute. Or a garland, something natural looking. And uh, a wooden, uh, sorry, not a pumpkin, a wooden mushroom. But these are four things. I kind of think um, the mouse and the mushroom are kind of new additions to my wish list. So the pumpkin and the acorn branch, I still can't forget, even though it's been a year. So I'll be focusing on those two and trying to get those two. Hopefully I can limit myself to those two. And I know I will be very tempted by the candles. So I really need to make sure not to buy any candles because I've already got seven and I've got wax to make maybe two-ish more. So that's a lot of candles. Um, I don't need any more candles. So the smell, the scent is always so enticing, but I have to be strong. I can't buy any more candles. That's my restriction for this year and or until uh the i have used up and have burned them down to two if i have two i can buy one more so th i sh i will try to keep to three maximum in the future <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> and i also wanted to say that the pumpkin i would like a wooden one or a floral one or i saw a really beautiful porcelain inspired one with like blue on white organic patterns blue organic patterns on a white background i wish i could find that like i want to find that so bad that's so beautiful i want that would be my prior like my yeah priority or that would be the ideal pumpkin but if i don't find that then maybe a wooden one would be beautiful as well i just hope i don't find all of them because then i have a hard time choosing and i'll try to come home with only one big pumpkin okay so much for the intro i think i've said everything that i wanted to say i'll be going to tika max and while you're at it let me know what your favorite season is mine is actually summer but fall is my second favorite season i should be saying autumn because i'm in britain but i've been watching all these fall decor decor hauls so the word fall is just on my mind i feel like uh, fall decor is has become an expression even though I would call it autumn, the season, but fall de the decor, I call it fall decor. <laughs> so yeah, come along, keep watching.
so right off the bat I saw all this bubble tea and mochi stuff and these ones the one I'm about to pick up I actually saw something similar that I really wanted and I grabbed two packets because <laughs> these are only $2.99 here I wanted to grab this and bring this home but I'm only just realizing now that I'm doing the voiceover and watching the video back that I forgot it but I did see these bubble tea kits and I was thinking to bring one home. One was 255 grams for 4.99 and one was 250 grams for 6.99 but then I saw so I was gonna get the bigger one but then I saw that the smaller one had five portions and this bigger one only three portions that's why I got the smaller one. Here we finally see all the syrups and I thought these bottles look really cute or cool. This one is a maple syrup bottle. I thought the bottle was cool and it was quite heavyweight as well so it looks like good quality but I am not into maple syrup. I don't like the flavor. So here we have one of the pumpkin syrups. This one says premium on it. It's $4.99. But this is only pumpkin flavor and then I saw another one down here and I discovered it's pumpkin pie flavor. So I couldn't make up my mind which one to get. Pumpkin pie sounds kind of better. This one is also $4.99 but this one has 1 liter whereas the other one has less I think 750 gram, uh, ml. Um, I'm not sure but yes I'm looking here 70 cl it says whatever that means. And here we see the decor. There's mostly Halloween stuff, which I'm not really into. I'm more of a fall decor girly. But these pumpkin malls were cute. And they had nice towels. Some were too Halloween-y. I saw this beautiful mug with cherries. I loved it. But I had a chip and we have too many mugs, so I don't need it. Four ninety nine. Cute for whoever wants to pick this up if they don't mind the chip. This was a cute, more fall type towel, but we also have enough kitchen towels, so we didn't really need that. And then we come to the candle section. There was another candle section by the till, which I only realized too late, so I didn't get to film it. But I smelled this candle. I tried to open it, but then I realized there was a hole at the top, so I can just smell it. It smelled kind of like bakery or something sweet, quite delicious, but I didn't like the title of the candle. And then there's another one, looks much better. It also smells sweet and also quite bakery item-ish. It's hard to describe the flavor or the scent, sorry. I really liked it, but then I saw this really cute candle. This looks really cute. And boo is obviously the double meaning. That's kind of a cute pun. But it smelled more floral and wasn't really my type of scent. Also, I had said that I wouldn't get any candles, so I put them all back, but I couldn't resist smelling them. At least I had to smell some. Then I saw this beautiful garland. Um, I dropped uh, something and like my chocolate thing. Um, this garden was so cute. Maybe I should have picked it up, but I didn't. Because I wouldn't know where to hang it up. But this is exactly the kind of thing that I said in the intro that I wanted. Something natural looking, maybe a garland. I did say maybe a garland because I'd seen so many, but I wouldn't know where to put it. I left it there. This is just an overview of the Halloween section. There are some dog toys and... I like the one in the top right corner, but we don't have a dog. And there are lots of pillows, but all of them are so Halloween-y. Nothing is really fally except for these candles. And this blanket felt very nice, but it was also too Halloween-y. This was quite interesting colors, the blanket that I just almost showed but here i'm trying to smell it i'm trying this beautiful candle it smelled so good but because i have too many candles i couldn't get it i'll put i i don't i can't read the price from here the screen is too small but i think it was 9.99 and then we have pumpkin churro which is an interesting combination but it also smelled good. The other one smelled better, but it, I, it didn't smell particularly churro -y. It just smelled kind of 
like bakery and i love these gloves laura ashley but it didn't say a price on them but it has nothing to do with fall so let's move on and this is a beautiful pumpkin pillow that everyone is raving about 12.99 at tk max it it was pretty like soft but it was soft but pretty like stuffed pretty hard if that makes sense I don't know how to explain it <laughs> and here we see something that's really cute but it's just not my style so i didn't really need it and then here we come to the one pumpkin that i did find it was laura ashley i do love laura ashley it's 7.99 only really good price um i love the realistic look of it but yeah i just didn't find that i have enough had enough options to really make up my mind if i wanted this or not so i left it behind Thank you for watching so far if you made it so far leave me um a hat emoji in the comments below and now we'll get into the haul video haul video haul part of the video um i did get things from poundland as well but i'm probably not gonna include that but like i'll include one thing from flying tiger um because i like that thing <laughs> This is my full bag. As you know, there was only one pumpkin there. So I didn't buy it because I want more options. Even though it was kind of nice. But I didn't... I, I, I'm i just not in love with it. And uh, I got so much bulky and like stuff. That I spent my, my budget on that. So I might not get a pumpkin this year then. But anyway, let's start with the fall. The only fall thing that I actually did get. Which is this pumpkin syrup. It says premium. It's actually a glass bottle. So it does feel premium. Um, You saw the two syrups. I wasn't sure whether to get the other one. It may have been nicer because there was more inside. Number one and number two. It was a pumpkin pie flavor but i just thought sometimes something sounds really awesome and then it kind of tastes gross so i didn't want to take the risk i thought a pumpkin syrup would maybe be more of a safe bet oh my god i didn't notice it even has like this kind of a diamond pattern here whatever you would call that and it was 4.99 but i'm excited to start using that um, then we got brown sugar flavor bubble tea kit. Now, the other one actually contained five more grams, but there were only three portions in there, whereas this one has five servings. So I went for this one, even though I think the other one is like two pounds cheaper or something. Yeah. But I love bubble tea. Brown sugar is my favorite flavor, but I'm starting to get bored of it. So if you have any good flavor recommendations, let me know in the comments below. But I like Thai tea as well. I like, I've tried so many, but brown sugar used to be my favorite, but I'm kind of over it. I don't know. Um, These are the poundlets. Oh, let's do TK Max first. I got more cheese. I've already tried one. It doesn't taste as amazing as I thought it was gonna. Because one day, uh, uh, one uh, an acquaintance of mine brought in these brown sugar mochis with bubble with these tapioca pearls in the middle into a group that I go to, and uh, they were absolutely amazing. So I tried to find them online. I know I know the store where you got it. It's Wing Yip. But it's so far from me. And I don't know what it will cost. So maybe it's not worth going there and then it being really expensive. So you pay for travel on top of the expensive price. But online on eBay it costs seventeen pounds. So that's a lot. And over here, I got this is something I thought it would be something similar. 
only a different flavor, not brown sugar, but milk flavor, milk tea flavor, I mean, for two ninety nine, so two will be like around six pounds. It's still yummy, but it's not what I expected. So I'm a little disappointed. I don't know, but it's still nice though. And then I also got from TK Maxx. Where is it? Should I just do the... I don't know if a Poundland haul would interest you. Maybe not, because I have some surprise for my best friend's daughter. In there. it's It will be her... Um, first day of school celebration which i'm invited to so i got some more i don't know how to pronounce these s'more rizzles but these look like the cookie dough i forgot the brand name but they have like cookie dough these round little things but i, I thought it was pretty expensive for 250 for such a small package and such a small item but be probably because they're from the US. And isn't there a brand called Delicious, a British brand? I feel like they they copied them. But this is what they look like. I've already tried some and love them. Delicious. And now last but not least, let's go for the ti flying tiger one. I've always, since I first saw these in a store, where they were way too expensive, I've always wanted golden cutlery. And this is a set of, well, for two people, so a set of eight pieces. Two forks, two knives, two big spoons, two little spoons. I don't understand why in this country, no one sells little forks. How do you eat cake? I don't get it. I can't find them anywhere. Maybe I need to buy some in Germany when I go over. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I will do that if I can find them anywhere. But this is a, uh, a set of eight pieces for 12 pounds, which I thought was reasonable. And online? The spoon looked really flat, but in real life it actually, you can see it's carved or convex or concar. I don't know how to, how to say in English, but is it called convex or concar, concarve? I don't know. The, the direction in which the, I don't even know what to call it, <laughs> the valley goes. Anyway, um, that's just physics, I guess. When we were talking about lenses back in the day, uh, that's what I remember. In, in German, anyway, it's convex and concave. Anyway, this is the last piece I'm doing the haul of. So, I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you did. It's a bit disappointing that I didn't get any fault stuff aside from this. But I did get a jumper of Etsy, which... If it arrives before I edit this video, then I'll film it as well and put it in the same video. But I might make another separate fall haul video and just include this again. Um. So I've actually only been to one TK Maxx. Let's see how long this video, when I put all the parts together, how long it will be. If it's too long, I'll make this one part. But maybe... If I go to another branch to try and find a pumpkin, I don't know if I should because I did say that I, maybe I'm not, I'm not gonna get any pumpkin this year because I spent my budget on mochis and bubble tea. But um, yeah, if I do that, then maybe I'll edit it into this video. So let's see if the video is finished or not. You will be, you will notice it in a second. But for me, it will be maybe uh, a week or several days or two weeks. Let's see. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video as always. And if you did, please remember to give it a massive like to help out my channel. 
and remember you can subscribe for more content like this if you're interested i would love to have you and i'll see you soon so please tune back in goodbye